Okay, in this video, I'll talk about statistics versus machine learning. Now, you know, some of some people might have this confusion that uh, what is statistics, what is machine learning, what are the differences between these two things, or what are the similarities between these two things. Right. Now, it turns out that statistics and ML are quite related in some senses. In the sense, uh, uh, you know, you do talk about some common concepts, but uh, the way people talk about these things differs. Okay. So, for example, uh, you know, uh, statistics uh, people call something as model, while in machine learning you might call them as networks or graphs. In machine learning, you might call something as weights. Statistics guys tend to call them as parameters. Similarly, a machine learning guy would say, I'm learning a model. Statistics guy would say, hey, fitting a model to this data. Right? Machine learning guy would say, hey, your model should generalize well. A statistics guy would say, it should have a very good test set performance. Okay? Machine learning guy would say, I'm doing supervised learning. While the statistics guy would say, uh, actually, if I'm doing regression or I'm doing classification. Right? So in machine learning, you would say unsupervised learning. But while in statistics, you would say that, hey, I'm doing density estimation or clustering and so on. Okay? Uh, other kinds of things, you know, uh, learning is actually called estimation in statistics. Hypothesis would be called as classifier in statistics. Uh, uh, you know, example or instance would be called as data point in statistics. Uh, um, our feature is called covariate, label is called response. So the idea is, stats and ML, you know, they have many common concepts. It's just that they are named in a different way, okay? So which basically oftentimes causes confusion for a newbie in that sense. Um, this is a nice visualization to sort of show how these different fields are related, okay? Now, if you think of it, statistics and machine learning, they really, I mean, there are some common concepts, but otherwise, they, you know, if you think of it, they are quite different from each other in that sense. And, you know, over, over slides, over more slides, you will see how they are different, okay? Uh, AI and machine learning, uh, you know, machine learning is a part of AI for sure. Okay. And then there are these other fields and you know over slides we will base or, or, or more discussion we'll try to understand hey what is the difference between statistics and machine learning in that sense. Okay. So statistics is defined as the study of collection, analysis, interpretation, presentation and organization of data. Statistics is all about data. Okay. How can you collect data better? How can you collect noise, uh, you know, data with less noise? How can you analyze it nicely? How can you interpret it in various ways? How can you present it nicely and organize it better and so on, okay? Machine learning is about making use of this data. It gives computers the ability to learn without being programmed in, ex in, a, in, an, in an explicit manner by learning patterns from the data, okay? So statistics is about getting data in some senses. Machine learning is about learning from the data in some senses. Machine learning is an algorithm, any, any algorithm is a machine learning algorithm if it can learn from data without relying on rules-based programming. It doesn't like rules in that sense. Well, statistic modeling is formalization of relationships between variables in the form of mathematical equations. So, you know, uh, uh, to, some ex to some extent, in fact, statistics is more closer to maths than machine learning, okay? Machine learning is a, you know, if, if I talk about origins, well, machine learning evolved from AI or sort of, uh, you know, it has its origins in computer science and AI. While statistical modeling actually has, uh, has its origins in maths. So it deals with finding relationship between variables to predict uh, an outcome, okay? So in fact, stats modeling has been there for centuries now. It is, it is a pretty old field, while machine learning is a pretty, uh, you know, it's a newbie, right? So it's a very recent development. It came into existence in the 1990s as steady advances in digitization and cheap computing power enabled data scientists to stop building finished models and instead train computers to do so. So, you know, rather than uh, building your own models, how can you, uh, or rather writing your own code, how can you have computers writing that for you, right? So, uh, so origins-wise, well, ML basically is derived from AI and computer science. Stat modeling is from maths. And stats modeling, statistics is basically a pretty old thing, while machine learning is a very new thing. Okay. So what are the roles? So where do you apply, right? So when applied to a problem, uh, um, you know, uh, the process usually begins with deciding a statistical population or a statistical model process. Uh, uh, you know, for statistics. But if you talk about machine learning, you, you know, this type of learning explores the study and construction of algorithms that can help users to learn and make predictions based on the data, right? So uh, now, if you think from uh, the perspective of rigor of results, right, um, uh, this is how a statistician and machine learning practitioner will actually describe the same result. So ML professional would say the model is like, my model is like 85% accurate in predicting why given various parameters A, B, and C, okay? While a statistician would say the model is 85% accurate in predicting why, 
given a b and c and i'm 90 percent certain that you will obtain the same result okay so uh, if you think about the rigor of results a statistician would be much more rigorous comparatively uh, compared to a typical machine learning guy okay uh, stress on input data properties so machine learning requires no prior assumptions about input data okay so about the underlying relationships between the variables you just have to throw in all the data that you have and the algorithm processes the data and discovers patterns using which you can make predictions on the new data set so the hope is that uh, you know the machine learning model will will itself figure out what are the variations in the data how data uh, attributes are related with each other and so on okay in contrast statisticians must understand everything with about the data that was collected so like statistical properties the estimator p value unbiased estimators etc underlying distribution of the population they are derived from okay uh, and and the kinds of properties you would expect if you did the experiment many times okay so they need to know precisely what you are doing and come up with parameters that will provide the predictive power okay the lesser assumptions in a predictive model the higher will be the predictive power if you think of it right if you don't make a lot of assumptions then the model suddenly becomes very much applicable right and that is why machine learning is great at doing that so machine learning as the name suggests needs minimal human effort machine learning works on iterations uh, uh, where computer tries to find out patterns hidden in the data automatically right so because machine does not work on comprehensive uh, because you know machine doesn't work on comprehensive data and is independent of all these assumptions predictive power is generally very strong for these models so you know the machine learning does not care about the assumptions behind the data and it can work with all forms of data and therefore you know the models that you get are very powerful and generally applicable uh, not like the not like the statistical models where you need to satisfy a whole bunch of assumptions before you can uh, build them and deploy them right so machine learning does really well with wide high number of attributes as well as deep data where uh, you know you have high number of uh, observations so lots of observations lots of attributes machine learning is great however statistical modeling are generally applied for smaller data sets right with less attributes and uh, or they end up overfitting okay so therefore you know uh, the idea is if you have large amount of data lots of columns or lots of rows use machine learning otherwise statistical models um, are, are 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 preferred right so in summary, it may seem like machine learning and statistical modeling are two different branches of predictive modeling. Um, now the idea is the kind of things that the two study are, uh, uh, you know, uh, are, are somewhat different. Traditionally, they have at least been somewhat different. The goals of machine learning and goals of statistical modeling have been very different. It's just because their origins were different, and also, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, the kind of people studying them were different. Right? But more recently, the difference between the two has been reducing. Okay, significantly over the past decade. So more and more statisticians have started now doing machine learning and more and more machine learning folks have started doing, or, or, or rather they have, they have been liking to do some sort of statistics when they have small amount of data. Okay. So both the branches have learned from each other uh, a lot and also will continue to come closer together in the future. Okay. So, uh, so as to have a good idea between stats and ML, you know, stats you can think more of a mathy thing. Machine learning is less of a mathy thing. Okay, less of less of maths involved in it. Okay, so uh, machine learning is really useful for large amounts of data. Stat modeling has been traditional way of doing things. It's good uh, if your data follows certain assumptions and it is small in size in that senses. Okay, so that's about uh, differences between statistics and machine learning.